Hello everyone, welcome into another Joint Movement DPT's video. We have another adventure for you this weekend. Woo! It's gonna be exciting! So let them know what we're doing. This weekend we're going to a place called Kellogg, Idaho. And there they have a resort that includes a water park, like hotel with a whole bunch of water stuff resort. They're normally a ski resort in the winter and what we're gonna be doing is mountain biking. They also have tons of restaurants and things so it sounds like a big production and um, we're really excited for this mountain biking because it sounds amazing. It has been voted the country's like number one mountain biking resort um, and there's a couple reasons for that so what makes it so awesome let me tell you is that they have this ski lift that brings you 3.1 miles up to the top of the mountain and they have something like 40 runs I don't know I think I'm saying that wrong but they have tons and tons and tons of mountain biking runs down the mountain and then you've got the lift that brings you right back on up when you're done so it sounds amazing. It should be a full day of fun. Now this morning I had to go work at the hospital so we're getting a little bit of a late start and so instead of going straight to the mountain biking place we're gonna actually go find some free camping near it with our new adventure rooftop vehicle. Tent. Woo! Yeah so this will be the first time we actually get to use our rooftop tent. We're so excited. We got all the camping gear packed up and now we just gotta find a place that's available. Thank you guys for joining in and watching our weekly vlog. We really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We would really appreciate that. That just supports our adventures and it lets us know that you guys are out there and you're enjoying some of the content that we are creating. Let's see this place. Alrighty, to the road. A uh, small french fry and a large chocolate shake. So we're at this place called Frosty's, not Frosty the Snowman. But it or is, Wendy's. Or Wendy's. But it uh, looks like a little hole in the wall place. It had a long line in the drive through which either means poor service or the food's really great. We're <laughs> going to hope with the food's really great. And um, so we got two Frosty Burgers. Don't really know what that means, but figured while we're at Frosty's, get the Frosty Burger. A, um, some fries, and then of course a large chocolate shake. So we have not tried the Huckleberry Shake. That is all the rave here in Montana. All the rage. Rave? No, they rave with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the rage here in Montana. But we'll probably try one before we leave. Oh, grease in a bag, grease in a bag. Mmm, <laughs> that looks yummy. Wow, that is a huge dip. We got some off-road experience in the Frosty's driveway. Woo! This road is crazy. We've been on here for probably about 40 minutes or so. And it's just potholes and, and mud and rough terrain. It's not real like rock climbing or anything, but uh, definitely putting our Subaru through the test. Are you freaking out? <laughs> <laughs> but um, the views here, we just keep going up, up, up the mountain and the views here are beautiful. We just saw some people picking huckleberries up here at the top and yeah. it's really pretty. There's supposed to be a lake here at the end of this so we shall see. We're literally at the top of a mountain so. Yeah last time we checked lakes are usually at the bottom of the mountain so we're not quite sure <laughs> if it's accurate but we've seen people coming up this way and there's supposed to be campsites. We'll find out. Direct me to be a little closer on the passenger side so I can be away from these trees. Sure. You should be pretty good. 
You can keep going. Keep going. Okay. So eventually what I want to do is either get one of those quick retracting awnings that you can pull out and attach it to a roof rack, or we do have a nylon tarp that could maybe attach the tent some way and then to my trekking poles and kind of create an awning over here. Mm. Wow, we got a good view, especially from a rooftop tent. Excited to get up there. What do you think, Megan? I think this is amazing. We drove like 60 minutes up a dirt road, literally on the edge of a mountain, up to the top of a mountain. And I thought we were never gonna make it here. I was like, there's no way <laughs> it actually leads to a lake. But this campground is full of people and there's a really awesome lake over here with awesome mountaintop views on the way. And this is really cool. Yeah, we would have never been able to make it here in our Prius or with Big Betty. And no. so our very first trip, we kind of got lucky and picked a great one. And this is the whole reason we got the adventure vehicle, the Subaru um, and the rooftop tent, just to take us a little bit further. And, and closer to attractions where you don't actually have to have an off-road vehicle. So like mountain biking tomorrow, we're very close to it. And so we can wake up, pack up, and then go do that. Oh man, we're about to go take a bike ride. I have the bikes off the back of the Subaru. And then we'll go check out the rest of the campground. We saw this camp spot first and um, we figured we better snag it since they're so busy. So we just went ahead and parked and then we'll go right around. And once we get back, then we'll set up camp. So this is all free camping um, and they have like a little beach here where people are swimming and there's tons of kayaks and stand up paddle boards, people fishing, it's just a really serene area. Um, man, just Montana and, well, Montana and Idaho, we're in Idaho right now. The Pacific Northwest is just really just beautiful and you guys have to visit it spend some time here do some camping even if you don't like camping so you can get back to some of these great spots we're gonna be here a uh, six months and we're not gonna see everything no for sure we're gonna see like 10 percent <laughs> of what we want to do but that 10 percent is has been amazing yeah let's go explore <laughs> Camp. <laughs> Megan's camera shy. It's time to set up camp. We're going to set up a tent.
We have a great camp spot here and Subaru's level, tents level. We have a beautiful lake view from our chairs here by the fire and from the rooftop tent. Um, it doesn't get much better than this. There's tons of four-wheeler trails out here. We've seen people on ATVs, dirt bikes, side-by-sides. Um, a lot of people come out here just to do some riding on those awesome trails. First night sleeping in the rooftop tent and we will see you guys tomorrow morning for some breakfast and then heading to the mountain biking. See you then. Oh man. We just woke up. It was kind of stormy last night so it kept kind of waking up here and there. Mm -hmm. um, we yeah, didn't, we like, didn't think it was going to rain so we took the rain fly off to have a nice beautiful like star view. Mm -hmm. And then like an hour after we fell asleep, Brian was like feeling drops hit his head. Thankfully you woke up. Yeah, so we had to make a mad dash for our rain fly. Which actually went pretty well. And put it on, but then once we had it on and we kind of buttoned up some of the screens to kind of block the cold wind, that was pretty cozy. Yeah, I was warm the whole time, but I had this on and a really nice sleeping bag. This morning we'll kind of um, pack up, cook some, probably some eggs and coffee, mm -hmm. and then uh, get on the rough road out of here to go do some mountain biking. Get some water boiling for coffee. We'll use our favorite, then we'll use our favorite travel coffee mugs. It's kind of like a French press in a coffee mug. Um, we have some Amazon links down below if you find these really cool. They're great for camping, great for traveling. We highly recommend them. Then you want to let them steep for a few minutes. Just let that coffee turn that water into coffee. And uh, then you just push the little French press plunger down and you got some coffee on the go. Hey, I feel like I'm in a bungalow. <laughs> I'm just hanging out in a tree, you know? Yeah, like a little tree house. Do you think I should start like taking down the awnings? Yeah, might as well. Okay. So let me just take you over a campsite over to this beautiful view we had from our rooftop tent, our fire last night, uh, the people who were camping here, probably the best spot here to camp, um, have moved out and it is just beautiful. You're right here on the lake, a huge fire pit, um, a trunk that you can put like your little cook stove on and I mean just great views you can enter the lake here so if you had some kayaks or anything like that stand up paddle boards you could get in here you could fish from here and what's so amazing is that we're at a pretty high elevation we're kind of nestled up in some top of some mountains and that's where this lake is and so kind of a high elevation lake not typically what we see in Missouri for sure definitely on top of the mountain. We can see across this mountain valley to the road that we'll be on in probably about 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So far away. So one thing that we've seen on along this road is a lot of people have stopped on the side of the road and they have little baskets and they're picking huckleberries which is the state berry and everybody loves to use huckleberry in pies and in shakes and things like that. So 
we found this little stop off where there's actually a trail of where people have gone before to pick huckleberries. So we thought we would go check it out and see if we can find any bushes. Here we have the huckleberries out in the wild. Another crazy thing is that bears love huckleberries. So hopefully we don't have a bear encounter. Prompt two, huckleberry pails. <laughs> the road. Oh, they're good. They're kind of tart. They're like when you get a tiny little bitty grape that isn't like all the way ready to be eaten and you dare somebody to eat it because it's so tart. It's kind of like that but blueberry version. But it's yummy. So Ryan found this camp spot on freecamping.net and he's found it really helpful. It gives you a lot of information about if you need to pay for the site, how many sites are available, what the road is like to get there, cell if there's phone coverage. cell phone coverage. Um, but what is crazy about this site is that the one review that was left on it was of a guy who drove his 30 foot um, what, motorhome, fifth wheel, yeah. 30 foot fifth wheel up this road. And the whole time we've just been like, I cannot believe he made it up this road. It would be really, really hard to do. It's just one way. It's hard to pass cars that come along. It's very bumpy. You're on the side of the hill the whole time. Um, and up at the top, there were just a lot of tents um, or like truck campers or t uh, rooftop tents camping. So it's definitely made more for <laughs> a smaller vehicle that can get up in there and climb around. Well, we're at Silver Mountain Resort. There's a lot of nice bikes, body armor, helmets. <laughs> um, so we're a little terrified, but uh, we're gonna try to do it anyway. <laughs> also, if you have an RV um, or a little camper thing, they do allow you to do overnight parking in their parking lot for 15 bucks a night. So not bad at all. Got our passes and get our map to some beginner trails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you feel less worried now? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are on the gondola ride. This takes us up to the top of the mountain, kind of like a ski lift, and then our bikes are on another little gondola riding up behind us. And so we're gonna go to the very top of the mountain. That's where they have the easy trails. We'll check those out. And um, we're kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we'll try to get the best footage we can. We have some little um, action cameras, but they're not wanting to mount to our helmets. So we'll try the best we can to show you what fun we're gonna have. And uh, how long is this gondola ride? 3.1 miles. 3.1 miles is the gondola ride. We got a little while. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the views. We've only mountain biked in Missouri where there's no mountains. So yeah. <laughs> um, we're excited, but I mean, there's a lot of serious mountain bikers here because it's an awesome resort. There's tons of awesome trails. So it's going to be interesting. They have a lot more um, trails on the back side of this mountain, um, but they're actually having an archery event today. Not really sure how skiing, archery, mountain biking all goes <laughs> together, but I'm sure it's amazing to watch.
I think I'm out of my league. I'm just gonna be honest. It's uh, an experience, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Would you suggest renting bikes or taking your lower Definitely quality rent. bikes? Definitely rent. No road bikes, no Walmart bikes, no Dick Sporting Good bikes. You need to rent a bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's like 50 bucks to rent a bike here, um, especially if you're going to do, you know, downhill biking, you need a downhill bike. Our bikes were okay, but they feel like they're about to rattle apart, <laughs> and so not great. <laughs> so we would suggest renting a bike. It's a little late in the day, we'd have to go back down the mountain to rent a bike, so not worth it. Megan survived her second run, and it was better. It was better. Or I don't feel as out of my league. I'm still out of my league, but I don't feel as out of my league. Yeah. My legs are going to be super sore tomorrow. This is a huge quad workout. <laughs> and hands. And hands. So what do you think? Not too bad. Um, it was a lot of fun. I'd love to get a downhill bike and really go down the trails. Um, my last run, I was going to do this green, but it splits off into a blue, and I went the blue route instead of green, so it was a little harder. But I'm glad I got to do that because um, I was able to handle it. It was a little steeper, but a little bit smoother and had some cool features, some ramps, and um, I'm really glad I got to do that. I am worn out. My legs are tired and my hands are tired, uh, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and there were so many trails and so many people up here. Um, you can tell a lot of people really enjoy this hobby. So that's my trail down there, my green trail. Tickets to the Silver Mountain Bike Park are $39.95 for adults and I think $10 cheaper for kids or something like that. Um, and that's for an all day pass, but if you want to rent bikes, that's like an extra 50-ish dollars and they rent by three hours or they rent by the whole day. It is a little bit more pricey, but it was a lot of fun. There are so many mountain bikers who come to this, this resort because it has so many trails. So <laughs> we are definitely novice bikers and and we have bikes from Dick's Sporting Goods and they just barely cut it, but they really, it would have been nicer to have a downhill bike. Um, and the green trails for me were really, really hard. Yeah, and um, if you just wanna do the gondola ride, you can pay like 20 bucks just to ride up and see everything if you don't want a bike. So that's a good option too. What are you laughing at? You got a helmet mark right there on your forehead. <laughs> Had that sucker tight on there. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks guys for hanging out with us in another vlog, another weekend adventure. We greatly appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, hitting that like button. And um, we are worn out. And so we are going to end the video now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for watching. And so until next time, see ya. Yeah.